I'm going to share with you a technique called screen focusing, or as Camtasia likes to call it, zoom and pan. Screen focusing allows you to expand your display for the viewer who is watching. And you can do this by zooming into sections of your screen, increasing the clarity and enhancing what they can see on the screen. This particularly comes useful with presenters who have larger monitors that are higher than 1080p, um, as everything kind of gets shrunk down um, to fit into that pixel density. Don't worry if that doesn't make sense. We're going to jump into Camtasia and I'm going to show you how the zoom and pan tool works and how you can utilize it. So in Windows, we have Camtasia opened and I have imported a short video where I'm demonstrating audio levels. I'm going to show you how to use the zoom and pan tool to increase the clarity of what I'm demonstrating as what I'm demonstrating is actually a small window. And if this was to be rendered out at a 1920 by 1080p screen size, it would appear very small on the screen. So using our timeline, we're going to drag across the timeline until we find the area that we want to zoom into. For instance, I'm going to do this where our sound options properties window pops up on the screen, which is here. We then want to select our clip and go to the animations tab. Here we have two options, zoom and pan and animations. With zoom and pan selected, I'm just going to select actual size to initiate it. The thumbnail below zoom and pan is showing me what is in my video and what I will be seeing. And this is surrounded by this box, which is essentially showing what portion of my screen is being showed in my final video. As you can see, my whole video is being shown. At this point, I want to zoom in to this sound properties window to make it easier for the viewer to see what I'm doing. You can do this by dragging any of these points around the edge of this box and positioning them where you want the video to be placed. We can also drag it around and uh, move to specific areas of the screen. Be careful that you don't go off the edge of the screen, otherwise you'll end up with black bars on the side. So if I just reset that back to its original position, which is about here, and this will place this small animation where we zoom into our screen. And we can set the animation length, how long it takes for this zoom to happen, at the bottom here on our timeline. So I'm just going to scale the timeline zoom so we can see this a little clearer. And we have this red point here, which is the end point, and this white point at the beginning of our arrow, which is the start point. If we play this from the beginning, we get this nice little animation in. Now say we wanted to increase the duration that it takes to zoom in, we would simply drag this red circle further out. If we play it again, we can see that the animation is much slower. And Camtasia has a bunch of animation features which you can use to utilize call effects like this. When using this feature, just bear in mind that you may have other video elements on your video, such as a talking head or pre-rendered lower thirds. So just consider that when positioning your other elements of your video when using this tool. So I can already see tons of you making use of this really cool feature and I hope to see it in your future sessions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another video.